This is my prediction for the WBO middleweight title fight between um, Hassan Njikam of France and Peter Quillen of the USA. It's basically a vacant WBO middleweight title fight because uh, Njikam inherited the title after I think Dimitri Pirol was stripped. Um, so, but he hasn't defended it yet, so it's pretty much a vacant title. Um, this, I think, is the toughest fight to call this weekend. I think it's a pretty much a 50-50 fight on their record. They've pretty much got the same record. Um, I think they both had 27 fights. They're both undefeated. Um, they're both quite unknown, in a sense, because I don't really know either of them too well. I think I've seen Peter Quillian fight three or four times, and I've seen Njikam fight either two or three times. I'm trying to remember if I um, if I've seen uh, how many of Hassan's fights I've seen but anyway I've definitely seen Hassan's last two fights both fighters fight on the back foot both fighters move backwards or tend to move backwards both use their jab frequently uh, both have a bit of power I mean Quillian I'd say is probably more powerful from the fights I've seen him in um, I think that Quillian is probably the better prospect from what I've seen of him, I think he's more impressive. Um, I think Hassan is... I think he is basically a defeat waiting to happen. Um, before I'd done too much research on this fight, I thought that um, it was probably a 50-50 fight. But doing more research and going over their two fights, um, the two of their records, um, I think that Hassan is basically a knockout waiting to happen. Uh, he's impressive. He's, you know, he's, he moves a lot. He, he probably moves too much. He reminds me a bit of Amir Khan in that he spends the whole fight moving and throwing pit-a-pat jabs. I think Quillin's jab is stronger. But even Quillin, I find quite odd why he backs off in a lot of his fights. For example, his fight against Jesse Brinkley. He spent most of the fight moving backwards, um, trying to establish his jab. But against a guy like Jesse Brinkley, you just expect the uh, fighter to go in there and just knock him out. Like, I'd expect someone like David Lemieux or um, James Kirkland or um, Alfredo Angulo, I'd expect fighters like that to just go straight in there and knock Jesse Brinkley out, or at least try to. Um, although I think Jesse Brinkley is a super middleweight, so that might have been a reason why Peter Quillin was, like, um, you know, not um, trying to rough him up too much. Uh, Peter Quillin has uh, unanimous decisions over guys like um, is it Zuniga and uh, Winky Wright in his last fight. The w win against Winky Wright was probably his most impressive win to date. I thought he totally dominated him throughout and got a knockdown as well. Um, but he's also got some stoppage wins against quite big names such as um, Craig McEwen. Um, and Jesse Brinkley, but the the win against Jesse um, um, Craig McEwen, I thought was a little bit premature. I he landed with a big left hook, and then landed with a big right hand, threw a couple more punches, and the referee stepped in. I thought he should have probably let him carry on a bit more, as did the HBO commentators. But um, I think that just shows the sort of power that Peter Quillen has now. Jesse Brinkley and Craig McEwen both put pressure on Peter McQuillan and he got the knockout or he got the stoppage win against both of them. Um, Hassan isn't going to do that. Hassan is going to um, back away the whole fight. But it's going to be a, quite an interesting fight in that both of them back away from their opponents, both of them establish the jab, both of them try to avoid getting into tear-ups. So in that sense, who's going to be the offensive fighter in this one? I'm going to hazard a guess and say that Peter Quillen is going to bring the fight to Hassan in this fight. And I actually think that Peter Quillen is going to get the stoppage. I think that the intelligent money is on Quillen to win a unanimous decision, but I actually think he's going to get a knockout in this one. I don't think Hassan is quite as good as his record suggests with his 27 wins, I think it is, and zero, uh, not, uh, zero losses. I think the moment he gets in there with someone like um, Golovkin or Chavez or Martinez, I think he's getting stopped by the mid-rounds. 
and I think that Peter Quillin might be the first guy to stop him. I think he's going to be fighting in um, unfamiliar territory in New York. He's going to be against the home favourite. He's going to be against the toughest fighter he's fought to date. He's already been um, knocked down before. If you remember in the Giovanni Lorenzo fight, he was knocked down in the fifth. And I think if Quillin knocks him down, like the way he knocked down um, uh, Winky Wright, I think in this fight, um, Peter Quillin is going to be really trying to establish his name. And I think he is going to win the fight in, um, maybe not explosive fashion, but I think he's going to win the fight in, uh, in a fashion which puts his name right out there amongst the other champions. So I think Peter Quillin is going to win the WBO middleweight title. And I think he's going to sort of make a name for himself in doing so. So although before that, before I'd done any more research on the fight, I was saying Quillin to win on points. But I've now changed my mind and I think he's going to force a stoppage. So I, but I don't know what round because both guys are quite unfamiliar to even the most hardcore boxing fans. So I'm going stoppage, but probably say somewhere around round six or round eight, a mid to late round stoppage. I'm not even sure Hassan is going to get into the late rounds. Um, so I definitely think Quillin wins, even though on paper it looks like a 50-50 fight, but I don't think it really is.